Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is a bit of a fashion experiment. So these ads have been following me around Instagram constantly. When I was up in the middle of the night breastfeeding my baby, I would just be scrolling on Instagram and I would constantly be advertised Stitch Fix. And you know what? It worked on me, they got me. And so I thought, let me try this for a video. And then I learned that when you sign up, you do a style quiz and you know how I feel about quizzes. So obviously I was in. So if you don't know what Stitch Fix is, firstly, this is not sponsored by them at all. This is just my experience using their service. Spoiler alert, this that I'm currently wearing right now came from my fix. So let me take you on this journey of trying Stitch Fix for the first time, starting with the style quiz. Okay, it's time to do a quiz. I love quizzes. Stitch Fix's style quiz. Let's go. What are the reasons you're excited to try Stitch Fix? Hmm, I think I want to try new items, give myself a treat, and discover new trends. Is this your style? Already very into this quiz, the fact that there was actual pictures and asking what I like. Is this my style? Jeans, yes. The ankle boots, yes. T-shirt, Cardi, somewhat. It's not screaming at me, the colors aren't me. Somewhat. Ooh, is this your style? Again, also somewhat. I do have lots of black polka dot things and I do love me a red accessory, but it's, it's not my like hero style, but that is something that I would wear, so somewhat. Is this your style? This is a hard no. That is not my style at all. No, no, no. Is this your style? I do love a maxi dress. Those heels are very nice, but the pattern, the color, also the season is wrong. So I'm just gonna say no. Is this your style? See, I occasionally do wear an entirely black outfit. Black jeans, black boots, maybe not the black top, but then the black leather jacket. So like, it has happened, but I'm gonna put somewhat again. Ha, here we go. Is this your style? This is so funny. I see this and I'm like, oh yeah, 100%. Like suddenly I'm glad that I put somewhat for the other ones because this, I'm like, this is screaming at me. Leggings, stripy top, denim jacket, trainers, yes. Hmm, what's going on here? This is a no. This is not, not really my vibe. What's going on here? Too formal. That's a no. Ooh, could be cute. I'm gonna put somewhat. I wouldn't wear heels. With, like every time they've put heels in, I'm like, no. If there was trainers with this outfit, yes. But we go somewhat. Uh, that's a no. Uh, this is also a no. I can totally see who in my head wears this outfit though. She's a sex therapist. Yeah. This is my imaginary sex therapist's outfit, <laughs> but it's not my outfit. Oh, some color, a bit more color. What's going on here? Just white t-shirt, jeans, a thingy and a thingy. These all seem very like spring summer outfits, not very autumn winter season friendly. I say it's my style. Let's go somewhat. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Right. How often do you want us to focus on work slash business or smart casual? This question doesn't make any sense. Cause which one are you asking me about? Oh wait, no, smart casual is the same as work business? Rarely. Okay, I thought those are two separate categories and I panicked for a second then. What about for a wedding or special event? Rarely. What about date night or a night out? Mm, sometimes. What about laid back casual? Often. <laughs> okay, choose all the styles of jeans you would wear. I wear skinny jeans and I need to branch out in my jean situation. What is the difference between boyfriend and boot cut? Oh, I don't know. Work our way backwards. I think not straight and not boot cut. So I'm just gonna say yes to boyfriend and wide. Choose all the jean rises you would wear. High, only high. Choose all the hem lengths you would wear. Oh, I mean, regular on me is long. <laughs> because I'm so short, but I think it should ask for my height. So I'm gonna say short and regular. Do you prefer dresses or trousers and tops? So normally I'd be like 50-50, but because of the breastfeeding, I am gonna have to do mostly trousers and tops. How adventurous do you want your fix selections to be? Let's go somewhat, somewhat adventurous. Mm -mm -mm. What is your preferred tone of jewelry? 
Oh, I don't want them to give me any jewellery, but mostly gold tones. How would you characterise your accessory and jewellery style? Mostly classic, mostly statement, healthy mix. I mean, at the moment, we're just mostly classic. If I have the time, I will throw in a statement. So let's say healthy mix. Are your ears pierced? Yes. How tall are you? <laughs> I am 152 centimetres. What is your weight? Good question. I feel like I did get weighed recently. Uh, maybe. What sizes do you typically wear? 10, 10, 10. Oh God, jeans waist. 28? Oh no, but I'm probably bigger than that now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Bra. Ugh, they are not gonna like me. 30. Ooh, ooh. Only goes up to an H. I'm a double H or a J. I'm a J at the moment. Rude. Not cool. Shoe size, four. That's an easy one for me. How would you characterize your proportions? Wow, this is... Okay, my arms are short, average, long. I mean, they're short, but I'm short. I would say they're average then, like for me, in proportion. My shoulders are narrow. I definitely have narrow shoulders. My torso is huh, short. My hips are mm, average. My legs are, for my height, they're probably average. Are you curvy on your bottom half? Yes. Are you interested in receiving particular things? Yes. Great, from which categories? Like any. How do you prefer clothes to fit your top half? Ooh, loose, much easier with the breastfeeding <gasps> situation at the moment. Bottom half, I actually prefer fitted. What do you like to show? I mean, nothing. In winter, I want to be nice and warm, but in general, I don't mind showing my arms, I don't mind showing my cleavage, legs, but please cover up my legs, we're in winter. What do you prefer to cover? I do like to cover my bum and my back because bras. I can never go backless. I do also prefer to cover shoulders also because of bra straps. Waist, don't mind. I'm into my crop tops, but not in this season. Is there anything you would never want to receive? Ooh, okay. Tops, blazers, jackets, coats, trousers, jeans, shorts, dresses, skirts, shoes. Okay, I don't want to receive shoes from them. And I don't want to see bla blazers and jackets or coats or shorts. Tis not the season. Everything else will be fine. Oh God. Where do you typically purchase your clothes? None, none. Okay, well, local boutiques and other. These are all quite fancy, aren't they? They're quite fancy. Um, I'm gonna put and other stories because I think I've got a top from them that I got from a charity shop. <laughs> top shop I, I used to shop at. Urban Outfitters I used to shop at. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Are there any clothes that you would never wear? I don't think so. Not never. Beige, maybe. Beige and brown. I don't think I would really wear beige and brown. I would wear pink and I do have a pink top, but I don't have enough clothes in my wardrobe to go with said pink top. And I also have one purple top and it's the same with purple. It just doesn't go with many things. That's better. Any patterns you want us to avoid? Paisley, animal print, everything else I think is fine for me. Any fabrics you want us to avoid? I don't know enough about this stuff. Wool, can't be fucked washing that shit. I mean, I don't want shoes, faux fur, that's not really my vibe. Wow, we're just going full polyester. But I also don't want, it's not good. Just give me cotton. <laughs> I'll just take the cotton. How much would you typically spend on items? Fuck, I don't know. Oh my God. The lowest is 25 pounds. Well then, <laughs> bottoms, probably that. Jackets, probably a bit more. Oh, well that's the lowest, so yes. Wait, jackets different to a coat? <gasps> oh my God, I wouldn't even spend that. This is painful. Knitwear. I'm literally, I think I'm just gonna pick the lowest <laughs> on all of these. <laughs> is that bad? Oh dear. I mean, actually no, I do have a pair of boots that cost me a hundred pounds and I've owned them for about eight years now. I'm very proud of that. They are completely wrecked on the inside though. I think they do need replacing. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I bought a pair of shoes. Anyway, let's go. When is my birthday? 1902, 1992. What is your main occupation? Hmm, okay, so now you want to find... Ooh, entertainer, performer. Should we go with that? Oh, I didn't even get to see the other options. Oh, are you a parent? Yes, I am. I'm breastfeeding. Can I tell you that? I would like to tell you that I'm breastfeeding. Oh, here we go. Yes, perfect. I'm breastfeeding, so need clothes that I can easily whip a boob out of. There we go. <laughs> What else would I want them to know? My wardrobe mostly consists of blues, 
yellows and oranges. I like warm or terminal tones. She says wearing a blue shirt. I have very large breasts, but I'm really short slash petite, so need room for the titties. Oh my God, the person who will read this. <laughs> okay, so now I need to book my fixed delivery and my stylist will hand select pieces for me and I preview it and then I choose items and give some feedback and then I try at home and I only buy what I like. Eee! So this is costing me 10 pounds for the styling charge and then it will cost me whatever I decide to buy if I do decide to keep anything. Eee! Okay, done. What happens next? Preview your fix before it ships. I'll see you then when the stylist sends me my fix. Okay, they have gone back to me with my selection and it took less than 24 hours. It might even have been within 12 hours. So here we are, it's a new day. We have a restocked fruit bowl and let's dive into this. Let's see what items they have selected for me. And I get to pick five. It's time to preview your fix, Hannah. We've curated pieces just for you. Simply select up to five to receive or add feedback to help your stylist choose new items. Okay, so if I can't find five that I like, I can get back to them. Right, select your pieces. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, ooh. I mean, immediately the jumpsuit I'm really into. What pattern is on that? Like I used to have a jumpsuit that was very similar to that, but it did not fit me anymore. Let's have a look at all of these. Oh, this is very exciting. Okay, let's start here. What pattern is that? It's like a blue. Is it buttoned up? Oh, it's given me like a, some options. I have a leather jacket. I have a black handbag. I don't have shoes like that, but it's cold. I'm not wearing sandals. I have black boots though. Is it like a side situation? I think I should be able to get my boobs out of that. Oh, it says it's a wrap jumpsuit. This is, this is a possibility. Right, next up we have a green collar blouse. This is not my vibe. It's cute, but I don't know. I think there's something about collars and these are not outfits that I would put together or things that I have items of. Next, a jumper. Now here's the thing. I think I already have enough jumpers. <laughs> oh, it's got a cute yellow line on it. it does have a cute yellow line. Oh, look at that. I do have a floral long skirt. Ooh. Okay, this one's a maybe. The yellow stripy jumper is a maybe. Jean casual jogger. These are just like a dark blue version of, I have a light blue pair, which I don't think I wanna get from these guys. I think I wanna go slightly more special. Okay, we've got a jean. I'm not gonna go for jeans. I've got jeans. This is identical to a skirt I have. It's not the exact same skirt, but I have a long black skirt with daisies on it. So I won't be getting this because I basically have the exact same item, but that's pretty cool that they picked an item that is exactly in my wardrobe. I do love me a checkered shirt. Do I want this green and black one though? Now I'm picturing like all of my jeans and other bottoms, dungarees. I like the buttons. It looks like it could be baggy enough that it would work. What have they paired it with? Not sure about this skirt, but yeah, this. I don't have a tan leather jacket, but I can definitely pull an outfit together with that shirt. Easy. Grey jumper. I have enough of those. And then we've got a long sleeve wrap pullover and a cardigan. These are not my colours, unfortunately. But everybody who has spoken to me slash commented on an Instagram post or whatever about breastfeeding in autumn, winter has been like, cardigans are your friend. And I own one cardigan that I can't really wear with many of my clothes. Like the colour, the tone of it just isn't that versatile. So it doesn't really go with many things. And it's long as well. So it can't be worn with like shorter coats. Is there more? Continue. Oh, your stylist will pick five. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Back to item selection. Okay, right, so this is a no, dislike it. This is a no, because I own similar. This is a no, own similar. This is a no, own identical. This is a no, own similar. This is a no, dislike it. This is a no, dislike it. Quite like that. So, so far I've got these three. So let's like those. We like them and then continue. The stylist will pick two fresh 
items based on your feedback. We'll send these three pieces in your five item fix. Keen for a cardigan option like the bright blue one. That one is just in the wrong colour for me. Pastel jewel tones aren't really my thing. Should we go with that? Let's go with that. Submit. Do I get to see those new ones or do they just then get sent out to me? Yay! Okay. I will check in when the next thing happens. Guess what arrived today? Guess what arrived today? I'm very excited. Obviously, I know what three of the items are. Do I remember? No. And then there are two other items that I don't know what they are that the stylist has picked based on my feedback. How exciting. Oh, oh, look at this. Comes in this situation. Give 15, get 15, as in pounds. So I have like a mate, refer a friend QR code. Is it hacking the system if I show you this QR code? So then we can all get 15 quid. Who knows? Can you hear Rowan in the background? <laughs> oh. oh, okay, so this I remember from the edit, this shirt, very cool. Looks like it'll fit me and big enough for the boobs and easy access. So I have to remember, I'm not renting these. I'm potentially buying them. So the criteria in my head is obviously like the usual, it has to fit me and I have to feel good in it. But then it's also about versatility in my wardrobe. Like how many wears am I gonna get out of this and how many things can I wear with it that I already own? Like, how am I styling this? So obviously this is super easy because I just wear it the same way I wear my other plaid shirt, which is with jeans and leggings, done. So yeah, if this fits, could be good. I don't have many green things, but the tone works well with a lot of the colors that I wear. This one, I also recognize from the initial edit. Oh, this is not the material that I was expecting. It's like really soft and stretchy. I was expecting something with like a bit more structure, but I prefer this. This is actually like much more useful for me. And oh my God, guess what I've just discovered? Pockets, pockets. So this is a jumpsuit. The main thing to figure out with this is the length. But if I'm buying it, I can go get it turned up. How much is it? No, it doesn't tell me. It will tell me probably on my account if I log in. Oh yeah, I guess that's another consideration is the price, the cost. But when I was filling out my form, I put the lowest <laughs> price for everything because I don't really spend that much money on clothes. Oh, this is promising. This is promising. I like the neckline. That should be pretty good for, for breastfeeding. Oh yeah, this one I remember. Ooh, that's soft. Ooh, okay, so it's three quarter length sleeves. Will I want that in winter? Will I just want a full sleeve? This is gorgeous. I'll have to check how this washes. What is this? Why is this? Oh, is this for hanging it up? Baby sick will blend in quite nicely to this. Dan cooks a lot of meals that have like a tomato sauce base. I will not <laughs> be able to wear this when eating that. Is it just hand wash only? I might have to not buy this one just because of that. Because if it can't go in the washing machine, like my life, I do not have time to hand wash things. Okay, next, I see a gray thing and I see a mustard thing. Let's go for the gray first. Dun, dun, dun. What is it? It's a cardigan. So I did see that blue cardigan on the thing was like, oh, I would quite like a cardigan, but just not that color, because um, it was too bright for me. So this could be good. It's quite large, but I don't own anything like this. I do own a gray jumper, multiple gray jumpers. Mmm, mmm, curious, curious. Okay, and then finally, this orange rust color that I love. Ooh, okay, so it has like, this pattern here and then it goes like that at the bottom and then kind of like big ish sleeves oh oh yes 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 this i'd be able to wear with a lot of things 
Right, I'm gonna check how the rest of these things wash before I get attached to them as well. I'm gonna try on the outfits now. Please ignore all of the mess and the baby noises. There's a very happy baby playing on the bed right now. Try this bad boy on. Already I'm like, I think this might fit perfectly. And there's so much space for the boobs. Right, it has a little tie thing. Once again, I need to mention the fact it has pockets. This is excellent. Breastfeeding situation, all good. The only thing I'm concerned with about autumn winter is this, but it could be like a really versatile, different seasons jumpsuit. Like if I wear tights or leggings underneath, and I feel like this could work well with like sandals or boots. But let's do this one. Let's see what this looks like on top. Whoosh. I'm not entirely sure about with this. I need to look in the long mirror, but like, yeah. I thought it was gonna like be massive on me, but it's like a good oversized fit. One second. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't not wear it with this jumpsuit. It's like more of a kind of like, I'm wearing daytime pajamas vibe. I'll have to see what this looks like with like the other stuff and like with jeans as well. But let's see how easy this is to like unbutton. Might need a bit of stretching and then wha-bam, breastfeeding. Let's put on a pair of jeans. So, we can try the tops. I'm so into this jumpsuit. This is, oh! <laughs> Will I wear it in winter though? Like it's the three quarter length. How does it fit me in the length? Maybe it's meant to be like even shorter or normal height people. I would wear a vest top. I recently bought some nursing vest tops from MS and very much been enjoying those so far, but we're just trying on, so I don't need to get fully dressed just yet. Right, this bad boy. Right, excellent. No buttons popping over the tits. That's what we want. How many buttons do we do up? That's the real question. I think we go like that, because I'm gonna have to be undoing them anyway to feed. But, fits, da, 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 fashion show. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the same as the other plaid shirt I have, although that one seems to have shrunk in the wash because the sleeves come to here on me now. It's a bit ridiculous. But now we once again try it with this. I mean, immediately I love this cardigan with the jeans. Yes. Okay, next. The rust. The rust top sweatshirt jumper. Like, what is it? Like, what layer is this? Amazing. Amazing. Oh my god, I love it. Is it me or is it me? Once again, just for the, the versatility, is this just gonna be an outfit that I'm in all of the time now? Probably. I know I'm not keeping it because it's hand wash only, but I will try it on. Wrong neckline with this top, but it's cute. It's actually quite scratchy. So yeah, this one's a no. Oh wait, I need to figure out how much these things cost before I get too overexcited. Please now decide what you'd like to buy and send the rest back. Okay, you have five days. No, how many days is that? A week, I've got a week. Right, this shirt, £39.50. Oh, you can do exchanges as well, so maybe if the fit isn't right. Jumpsuit, £55. This one, £48. This one, £46. This one, also £46. That's a lot of money to spend at once. Hmm, hmm. I'm gonna see how I go styling these four items with other bits and bobs in my wardrobe. Sick. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. All right, first outfit of the day. We have the orange top and the gray cardi that was selected for me by my Stitch Fix stylist. Mm -mm -mm. And then I've paired it with these Levi's jeans some trainers that I got on Depop and this mustard handbag that's from a local indie to me. And there you have it. This very much feels like a Hannah Witten outfit and I feel like I'm out of focus, but I'm not. The mirror is just really dirty. Okay, outfit number two. It's going to rain today, so raincoat it is. However, my raincoat is also kind of like a green color, but we have my red, Taylor Swift scarf and once again the bag. I think the coat's from Zara from many years ago. And then leggings and some boots from Clark's and obviously this shirt situation. That's today's outfit. Mm -mm -mm. Chill vibes, chill vibes. No surprises here. 
Next outfit, we've got the jumpsuit, the cardi, me trainers, me bag. The bra that I was wearing was showing here, but I just put on one of my nursing vest tops. And so that has sorted that problem right out. Very good, very good. I'm hoping I'm not gonna be too cold. Today's outfit, I've just paired the cardigan, this like crop jumper I have, nursing vest, jeans, these boots that I got from Shoe many years ago. This was a charity shop find. And then my trusty bag again. And yeah, I don't know why I slept on cardigans for so long as like a layer in the milder autumn months. And I guess also like cooler spring months as well. Cause like normally I would put together this outfit and then I'd be like, what the hell do I wear as a layer? And I just like stick on a hoodie and I'd be like, it's not giving me what I want it to give me because a hoodie just dresses it down. Whereas this definitely giving me what I want it to give me. Do, do, do. Back with the jumper and the skirt. I probably would normally wear this tucked in. I've not had a look to see what that would look like, but it's tucked out because then I have easier access to the boobs for breastfeeding. Oh, Rowan, no, not your face. You go hide over there. Me, <laughs> ee, ee. I like it. I like it. Right, we're all ready to go out. Rowan had to have a change. I have got these boots on from Clark's eight years ago. Denim jacket is Calvin Klein, but hashtag gifted from VidCon a few years ago. And the baby carrier is a secondhand hand down from our neighbors. And the brand is Ego Baby. And this baby is my child. <laughs> um, no handbag, but you know I would pair it with the mustard one, but that's just because we've got a little pocket here for my phone and keys. Okay, so I've tried a different way of styling the jumpsuit today. We have my black Clark's boots. I'm not convinced by the open <laughs> ankle. I'm scared I'm gonna get cold. But then I've gone leather jacket. This is from Topshop many years ago. But then because it's cold, I've also gone green hoodie. I realize I've now dressed me and Rowan the same because he is also in a green hoodie. Yeah, that's just to keep me warm, but I don't know. It's my go-to, just like green hoodie under everything. And it's from H&M just like a decade ago or something. I'm not 100% convinced with this one. I'm scared I'm gonna be too cold down here, too warm up here. Yeah, but we'll see. And that brings us to here today. And I can confirm that my ankles were not too cold and my top half was not too warm. So very much pleased with today's outfit so far. But in general, all of the clothes that were picked for me, I am very pleased with, even the ones that I ended up not picking. So many of them I didn't choose because I already had like an identical item in my wardrobe already. So you have to give kudos to the stylist for that. I was like, bravo, well done, you know? I'm also just generally a big fan of outsourcing things and letting other people make the decision for me. That might not be to everybody's taste. That might not be everybody's vibe. Like you might be someone who wants to have like real detailed control over your wardrobe and the items that are in it. Whereas I'm a bit like, ugh, I need this stuff, like there are these pieces that are like missing from my wardrobe. I can't be bothered. Somebody else do it for me. And that's kind of the experience that I got with this, which I very much enjoyed. So the 10 pound styling fee that they charged you up front comes off the final cost of everything that you buy. And they do give you a discount if you choose to buy all five items that they send you, which is a little bit cheeky. A little bit cheeky, but I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do it. I didn't need that jumper. I will say this is not something that I personally would do regularly. I do not need that many clothes. And actually it is a bit fiddly when you do your first order and then they're like, when would you like your next one? And you kind of have to figure out where it says like, oh no, let me do it manually myself. Like it's very much pushing you towards like, creating a regular subscription. 
So beware of that if you, like me, don't wanna do it regularly. But that being said, it is definitely something that I would consider using again if like my body changes dramatically again and I like need new clothes and I can't be bothered trying to find any myself or when the seasons change and if I do a big wardrobe clear out of things that no longer spark joy or fit me and I need to replace some items. So I'm glad that it's there for future occasions. I could even go down the like formal wear route if I know that I need to be wearing some fancier clothes for whatever reason. I did briefly look into their like sustainability and equity practices and they have loads of detail about that on their website. I am not somebody who knows enough about the world of like, different clothing materials and how they impact the environment. Like that is not my area of expertise, but if that is something that you want to look into in more detail, they have loads of information on their website, which I will link below. And just a quick browse, just a quick look, I got a good vibe, but that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> but they have loads of information about the materials that they use, the factories that they use. They're really transparent about their goals for sustainability and equity, and also include a lot of the demographics of people who are in leadership roles at their company. And they have lots of information about equal pay, benefits, and parental leave. So I generally got a good vibe. It was all kind of like good signs to me, but I didn't look into it in a huge amount of detail, just FYI. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have you tried Stitch Fix? How did you like the outfits that I put together with the items that I received? Would you style any of them a bit differently to me? Also, everybody who signs up to Stitch Fix gets this code, it's not like an influencer thing, but if you want 15 pounds off, if you are going to use it, then you can use my link, my code, and that also gets me 15 pounds off. I don't know if putting it in a YouTube video is cheating, but on their website, it does say if you want to share with friends or on social media. So here we are. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you're doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.